YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be going over how to perform the form Kyungan Odan. I'd just like to give you a reminder that if this is uh, being used as a learning tool, my best recommendation is to learn directly from whoever your instructor is. This can be used as a reference when going over if you have questions, but given the opportunity to work one-on-one, -on -one, in person, with an instructor, that's going to be the best way for you to work on this form. In our system, Kangan Odan is the fifth form we learn in this series, and we learn this form at brown belt with a stripe. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the chariot. Jumi. One of the things I always like to point out to my students in the beginning sequence of this form are sharp head turns. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a sharp look left, and I'm going to sink into a fighting stance, and throw an inside-outside block, reverse punch. Look, block, punch. After that, I'm gonna have a sharp head turn forwards. My right foot's gonna come in, and I pull my hands across to a double chamber on the back right side. I'm now gonna repeat that sequence going in the opposite direction. Sharp head turn right. There's my look, step right, fighting stance, inside-outside block, Reverse punch. Sharp head turn forwards. My left foot comes in and I double chamber on my right. So that opening sequence will look like this. From here, I'm going to be moving forward. Step with my right leg, reinforcing block. Continue to step through with my left leg. I'm going to chamber both hands on my right side. My right hand will be on top. Low X block. Pull back to that hip. High X block. This is one of my favorite pieces of this form. I'm going to do a wrist roll. Bring my right knee up. Spear hand with my left. Step through with my right. Center punch. When I do that, Punch, I'm going to also key up. Continuing, I'm going to look behind me. Right leg, outside, inside, crescent kick. Low block, look forwards. Left hand out, and I always explain that this left hand acts like you're reaching behind somebody's head. Your right leg is going to do a crescent kick. And then as you put it down in a horse stance, you'll continue with an elbow strike. I'm gonna move back so you can see my feet. As we continue from here, my left foot will step in the back to create a cross-legged stance. And I have a reinforcing walk. I'm gonna turn my head to the rear while keeping my reinforcing block intact, I'm gonna do what would look like an uppercut. My left foot will step towards the rear and do a fighting stance. So it is reinforcing cross-legged stance, uppercut, high, uh, uppercut fighting stance. I'm gonna continue moving in that rear direction the next move is probably one of the flashier moves of our form of King on Odon. We're going to do a jumping X block. So we're going to come from that uppercut position. Both knees are going to come up. I'm going to land in a cross-legged low, low, low stance. I'm going to get my butt down as low as I can. Arms are going to be crossed, low X block, and I'm going to have a um, cross-legged stance. It's going to look super low. So it's from here. Both knees up and down. When I throw this technique, my right hand is on top, push down, back straight. My feet are in a regular cross-legged stance position. Right foot flat, left heel up. I'm just bent, extra low. There's a key up on that technique 
and you really want to show off your ability to stick that landing, I'm going to turn my head to the back and throw a reinforcing block. That technique is done in the front stance. And again, when I'm teaching my students, I usually explain that this technique is the bailout technique. And what I mean by that is if I'm dying for balance here, instead of falling, I can just move directly into that reinforcing block. It's not what I'm looking for, but it's a good option instead of falling on the floor, if that's what's gonna happen. After throwing this reinforcing block, I'm gonna turn my head back to the front, move my left foot over to a narrow front stance, and I have a low spear hand with my right, and I'm gonna pull into a fighting stance, pinwheel block, both feet come together, and I'm gonna execute the same technique again. From here, I'm gonna move or pivot on the balls of my feet. I'm gonna turn 180 degrees. I'm gonna throw a double inside outside block. My footwork turns into a cross-legged stance. Left foot flat, right heel up, and my right shin should be touching my left calf. We've got one more move to finish this up. I'm gonna step with my right foot into a front stance, left hand, low spear, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull back into a fighting stance for one more pinwheel block. That's the end of the form. So we'll come back into a chin beat. I'm gonna go ahead and execute this whole form at a medium speed. Hang on, Oda. I hope you can use this video as a reference while you're working on Pyongan Odon. And again, I'd just like to reiterate that the best way to learn is going to be directly from your instructor. I can't wait to see your form. Practice strong. Tongsu.